Dirtfish is reported that Gregoire Munster might actually be behind the wheel of every tier of four-wheel drive rally car in Europe at some point this year. This is apparently thanks to funding from Jordan Serderidis, who is the private owner of a Ford Pure Rally 1 hybrid. Now, Munster has already driven a Rally 2 car and a Rally 3 car this season in the Junior WRC and in WRC 2. I guess the Junior WRC also WRC 3. But the Rally 1 car, he hasn't yet. And Serderidis backing him isn't actually that surprising. It sounds surprising if you're not somebody who's particularly followed rallying. You're like, okay, this guy is somebody who's shown up to a couple of events. He owns one of the cars. Why is he backing Munster? Well, Serderidis has a background for backing up-and-coming talent in rallying as a sponsor. The Greek businessman, based I believe in Luxembourg, might be also in Belgium, has backed up-and-coming drivers such as Thierry Neufville in the past. So Gregor Munster is the n most recent in a long chain of people that he's supporting. And you can see it on the Rally 2 car, the fleet back is a major sponsor on Munster's car. Because Sidori is supporting him. And I think that's really cool. I really like that uh, you're seeing someone like Sedari just come in and using the platform that he has to help other young rally drivers because budget is such a big issue. I mean, supposedly that's the reason why Hayden Patton is doing ERC this season, not WRC2, in a Rally 2 car because of the amount of prominence coverage you can get on the budget. Apparently, doing the full ERC season is almost similar in cost to doing three rounds of WRC2. I mean, look at, go back a few years now, Chris Ingram, when he became the first Brit to win the ERC in however many years. I've even been in history, but I'm pretty sure, it, pretty sure we had a British champion at some point before Ingram. But he was having to crowdfund it. His mum was helping him crowdfund it to make him get to the finale so he could win that title in Hungary. But overall, what this just does is links back to a discussion that I've been well, contributing to for a couple of years now. Rallying needs to get cheaper. The Rally 1 hybrid car, I mean, I'll always say it should have been the Rally 2 Plus rather than the WRC Minus. Make it more affordable, make us some more teams can get involved, make us some more privateers can get involved. Because at the end of the day, putting the cost cap in F1 showed that F1 got out of control. Whereas, way, way back when Eddie Jordan started in 91, you could get a handful of million dollars and you would be able to make yourself through pre qualifying into the race and get some solid points. To a point now where even the back market teams are talking nearly 100 million euro, 100 million dollar budgets. WRC's almost there. And it really, really shouldn't be. But anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.